Top 10 Mawa, where MC is weak at first, but gets special skill or system to become OP like solo leveling. Have you ever wished you could be totally overpowered in another world or reality? I'm talking like leveling up from a complete weakling to an unstoppable badass with crazy skills and abilities. Well, that's exactly what we're covering today. The top 10 must read Mahwa and Mawa where the main character starts off weak but gains some insane system or special power to become overpowered as hell. Think solo leveling level of epic transformation. You ready for this? Let's get into it. Karma, got a thing for me, we hold hands, make plans, keep the receipts Karma, she's my best friend, one step closer, here's how it ends Karma, got a thing for me, you see, you'll be digging up I Became the King by Scavenging Kicking off our list at number 10, we've got a hilariously unique isekai-style mawa called I Became the King by Scavenging. Our protagonist, Yi King, is just your average guy deep in debt for some terrible stock market bets. To pay it all off, he gets thrown into this shady hunting group tasked with taking down powerful demonic beasts. Talk about a rough situation, right? Well, Yi King somehow manages to slay a beast that was supposed to be impossible to defeat. In that epic moment, he levels up from an absolute nobody to awakening the ultra-rare scavenger class. Yes, you heard it right, this dude's hidden overpowered profession is literally just picking up trash and scavenging items. I mean, how underwhelming but ridiculously hilarious is that? With an entertaining story that leans into the inherent humor of its bizarre premise, I Became the King by Scavenging delivers pure wish fulfillment fun. After all, who hasn't dreamed of ruling a fantasy world thanks to the most unlikely overpowered ability? Max Strength Necromancer Sliding into the number 9 spot, we've got the wild and wacky Max Strength Necromancer. Xiao Yu gets reborn as a necromancer in a crazy meta-universe, except his intelligence and spirit are literally zero. So in a fit of rage, he maxes out his strength stat instead. From there, it's pure comedy gold watching this muscle-bound necromancer punch and brawl his way through the game, leaving a trail of overpowered bosses beaten by his bare hands. The reactions of the other players are priceless as they watch this unholy fusion of a necromancer and bodybuilder wreck everything through sheer brute force. With wildly creative action and that awesome high concept premise twisting the necromancer trope, Max Strength Necromancer delivers insanely entertaining power fantasy chaos. I really don't want to learn forbidden spells. At number 8, we've got the funny story, I really don't want to learn forbidden spells. Our regular guy gets sent back in time to a fantasy world as a young mage. But the only magic he knows is a bunch of dark, forbidden curses. He's got the magic powers of an evil dark lord. Instead of regular spells, he has to use these super overpowered and illegal curses. It's hilarious seeing the good guy struggle with wielding such powerful dark magic that's way too much for him. But he makes the best of his unique curse-slinging abilities for some epic, jaw-dropping magic action. With great humor and that fun reversal premise, it's an absolute riot watching the overpowered magical underdog story unfold. Strongest Level 1 at number 7, we've got the super fun power fantasy Strongest Level 1. Imagine this, you're in a tough dungeon raid, things go wrong, and your teammates abandon you. But then you find a special dagger that revives you but also resets your level all the way back down to 1. Here's the twist. Even though you're level 1, you secretly get amazing, overpowered abilities way stronger than a regular level 1 player. You're like a living cheat code. Oh yeah. From there, the story is awesome, watching the hero easily defeat super tough monsters and bosses while pretending to be a weak newbie. He's the underdog who's actually the strongest. With great art, showing the over-the-top action, it's an addictively fun story about the strongest level 1 hero dominating everything. It's easy to read and hard to put down. Level up with skills. Sliding into the number 6 spot, we've got the wildly intense power fantasy Level Up with Skills. Imagine a world on the brink of total destruction, with humanity's last hope being this mysterious, reality-bending tower. 
To conquer it, you can choose difficult modes like Easy, Normal, Hard, or the utterly brutal Alone Mode. Our protagonist, Kang Taesan, picks the easy path, thinking he's got it made. But after maxing out and beating the tower, he realizes his immense powers aren't enough to stop the apocalypse. With the world ending before his eyes, Taesan gets a shocking second chance. He turns back time and dives headfirst into the insane alone mode difficulty. This time, no cheats or easy routes, just an unrelenting grind to amass even more overpowered skills and abilities. With select art, creative world building, and that deliciously tense race against time storyline, level up with skills delivers pure adrenaline field progression fantasy. Kamichi no Kyuseishu, 0.0000001%, Hikiate Saikyu. Sheesh, that's a mouthful. Try saying that 10 times in a row. At number 5, we've got the crazy bloody action story, Kamichi no Kyuseishu. 0.0000001% Hikiate Saikyu In this world, people can fight monsters from other dimensions. Our bullet hero, Ariaki Sibaru, is chosen as one of the weakest rainbow rank fighters. But then, Subaru unlocks an insanely powerful ability. He can control and manipulate blood itself. From weakling to ultimate warrior in no time, Subaru uses his crazy bloody powers to single-handedly turn the tide against the dimension monsters. Just imagine him bending streams of blood to wipe out enemies. With awesome animation showing Subaru's gory but cool blood skills, it's an over-the-top underdog story that fans will love. Subaru goes from bullet zero to the biggest hero. I can copy talents. Sliding into the number four spot, we've got the creative power fantasy, I can copy talents. Imagine having the ability to instantly copy and replicate any skill, power, or talent you encounter. That's the insanely overpowered superpower our protagonist, Yi Tian, finds himself blessed and cursed with. In a world teetering on the apocalyptic brink from an alien beast invasion, Yi uses his game-breaking mimic skills to fight back against the onslaught and protect his sister. It's such an awesome blend of high-stakes drama and deliriously fun superhero abilities. One minute, Yi is a regular nobody, the next, he's copied kung fu mastery from a martial arts grandmaster. Or maybe, he's mimicking a wizard's arcane talents to unleash crazy magic powers. The possibilities are endless. If you want some mawa, which kinda gives the vibe of solo leveling, then you should definitely read this. Unrivaled Necromancer At number 3, we've got the insanely epic revenge story, Unrivaled Necromancer. Imagine being a powerful necromancer, only to get betrayed and killed by your own guild members. That's what happens to our hero, Cha jin -hyo. But through some crazy magic, he gets reborn into a new body years later. Here is some bad news and good news. Let's start with the bad news. jin Hyuk has lost all his necromancer powers. The good news? He's now an all-master who can master every single job and ability in the mysterious tower world he's trapped in. So, jin Hyuk teams up with some new friends like the spirit master, Balkan, to get his revenge. Except now, instead of just being a necromancer, he can learn and master every skill, from warrior to mage and everything in between. It's an insanely fun power fantasy watching Jin Hyo regain his strength by copying more and more overpowered jobs and abilities. He goes from weakling to true master of the tower's magic system. With awesome characters, a gripping revenge plot, and that addictive feeling of Jin Hyo constantly leveling up, Unrivaled Necromancer delivers non-stop thrills. Regressing with the King's Power at number 2, we've got the super satisfying power fantasy, Regressing with the King's Power. Our hero, Kim Taehyun, was already treated as a total loser because he had no special powers. But then, right before he dies, he unlocks the awesome ability to straight up steal other people's powers. But it gets even better. Taehyun then gets sent back in time to when he was 19 with all the powers he stole. From weakling to potential super badass, Taehyun starts taking powers from all the mean bullies who picked on him. He copies their skills and makes them his own. It's so unbelievably cool watching the former loser gain crazy abilities while getting payback against his tormentors. The action is insane as Taehyun keeps leveling up. With that awesome underdog story and over-the-top power stealing, it's an addictive must-read fantasy that's simple but impossible to put down. Boundless Necromancer 
At number 1, we have Boundless Necromancer. This one's an epic revenge story with insane art. The MC's parents get killed by monsters, but seven years later, he joins this crazy Tower of Trials realm. Even though his stats were trash before, in the tower he unlocks some crazy necromancer powers. The story's pretty unique, apart from a bit of solo leveling flavor early on. But trust me, stick with it past the first 20 to 30 chapters and you'll be hooked by the twists and turns. Plus, the character growth and the world building are just mwah, so good. My only gripe is the classic Mawa ladies falling for the MC instantly. Like, at least buy the man a drink first, you know? But with mind-blowing art that will have you drooling and intense action that will keep you glued to the screen, Boundless Necromancer is an easy 10 out of 10 must-read. And there you have it folks, the top 10 Mahwa and Mawa where the underdog hero goes from zero to ultimate overpowered hero in the most wildly entertaining ways possible. Whether it's gaining a game-breaking system, unlocking hidden abilities, or flat-out breaking the rules of their reality, watching these main characters level up and dominate is just pure adrenaline pumping fun. If this was your kind of thrill ride, show some love by smashing that like button. And be sure to subscribe for more lit manga and mawa content coming your way.